I think we can all agree that Meghan McCain is pretty awful. I mean, she says a lot of cringe stuff. Sometimes, occasionally, she does get it. Most of the time, she does not. Uh, so now, she did uh, pretend to be aghast at what Donald Trump has said a lot on The View, uh, mainly because I think that Trump went after her father, the late John McCain. Generally, I think Meghan McCain tends to agree with Donald Trump, especially when it comes to policies, um, but would occasionally come out and say, oh, Trump's rhetoric so bad, so bad. Uh, okay, well, now one reason, uh, or I should say one example, uh, is her actually doing the opposite, uh, where she defended Donald Trump's use of the of the phrase China virus. Uh, now, there was a recent mass shooting in Atlanta that left eight dead. Uh, a, a majority of them happen to be Asian women. Uh, now, McCain, on Twitter, she decided to tweet out support for the victims. So, now, let, uh, let me let's take a look at that. Okay. Hey, stop Asian hate. All right. Hey, look at, look at that. Well, now, what's the problem then, you ask? I mean, perfectly benign statement. Uh, actually, a good statement. Her heart breaks for uh, the people who were killed. Uh, why am I criticizing her? Especially when tweeting out support is good. Well, again, the, the problem here is, is that she helped contribute to the climate of hatred against Asian Americans. Uh, and this is fascinating because this happened exactly one year ago uh, where she defended Trump's use of the word China or phrase China virus to describe COVID-19, which many, of course, saw as a slur against Asian people and has led to an increase in attacks, physical attacks, and uh, as well as, you know, using racial slurs against Asian Americans. Uh, and not only that, but there's also, if you go to the Federalist, there's a category for reports on the coronavirus labeled the China virus. Anyway, so now let me go to that video. Again, this was one year ago today where she defended that. Take a look. About how we don't want to politicize this, which we shouldn't. It's Right now it's a time to listen to doctors, look at information, look at facts, look at data. I think by calling it the Chinese virus, that's politicizing it by title. So I yeah. think we need to stay on calling it what it is. It's the coronavirus or COVID-19 and stay yeah. with fact. People, as we've seen, people start punching people, Asian folks, out. Yes. They, you know, will attack. So we need to stop calling it or labeling it like it's they did it to us. Mother well, Nature think, really did this to us. Part of the problem us. is in December, um, there were a bunch of Chinese doctors that were sounding the alarm on this virus, and the mm. Chinese government, or, you know, lack of the government um, was trying to suppress them and they were trying to give out warning. I agree with you that I think if the left wants to focus on PC labeling this virus, it is a great way to get Trump reelected. I don't have a problem with people calling it whatever they want. It's a deadly virus that did originate in Wuhan. I don't have a problem with it. Hey, yeah, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Why, why, are, why are people suddenly beating up Asian and, and shooting Asian people? I don't understand. Either she is so dumb and that that's certainly a certainly a good possibility that she's just that dumb to not realize that the two might have some sort of connection <laughs> or i or she i don't know i don't know i just, i keep defaulting to stupid maybe i'm wrong uh but wow yeah so yeah she kind of helped in the demonization of chinese people by not pushing back against that um and honestly the reason why you should push against that, why everybody should push against that, it's not to let the Chinese government off the hook for whatever crimes they may have done or whatever times they may have covered up the, the you know, the, the times where they dropped the ball on the virus, right? Okay, uh, it's, not, it's not because of that. It's because of these low-info right-wingers that are not able to tell ethnic Koreans from Chinese nationals and go and shoot them all or attack them or just, you know, Go and attack any Asian person. Well, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. That's why you need to call it out. And be like, hey, you know, just, they're, yeah, they're Asian people. It doesn't mean that they're here to hurt you. They're not, they're, they're not here to give you the virus. Stop being stupid. Stop being an asshole. Put on your mask. 
and go about your day and let people live their lives. And that's all. It's just, oh, it, it's, it's, it's frustrating. And again, you had all these politicians on the right that were saying, oh, China virus, Wu flu. It's not even a flu, by the way. And when you say those things, you make it seem that, you know, whether, whether you realize it or not in the case of Meghan McCain, that it is Asian people's faults for the virus existing. And that's not at all true. It's not. It's a virus. Could have uh, originated anywhere on the planet. Imagine if it had, you know, originated right here. Okay. And, and by the way, uh, based on how poorly our government did with the virus here, there's no doubt it would have been our fault if the virus spread around the world. But even if it hadn't, if we, even if we had a, you know, good government response and still the virus got out to the world, well, I mean, you'd expect the rest of the world to call it the America virus. You wouldn't like it, would you? That, you know, Americans living in other countries being attacked as a result of the America virus. Hey, I didn't have anything to do with it. I don't, don't care. America virus. Seriously. <laughs> it's okay to criticize the Chinese government. It's not okay to go after Asian people or Chinese people. Okay? It's just not. It's not. And and here's the thing, right? We're actually, we've actually dropped the ball. And by the way, yeah, the Spanish flu did uh, originate in the United States, by the way. So it's already happened. And yet it's not called the America flu. It's called the Spanish flu for some reason. Weird. Weird how that works out. But yeah. But look, our, our, our response to this virus has been terrible. And, and in order to put the blame off on someone else, Trump and, and the right wing um, pointed everything, every finger at, at the Chinese government, which again has had its issues and I believe did mishandle uh, the virus uh, at first, okay? But again, the United States, we're number one, baby. We're number one, okay? And instead of, you know, pointing the fingers at the anti-maskers and the Trump administration who did play down the virus, much worse than what the Chinese did. Uh, Trump put all the blame on China and by extension, Asian people. And so now you wonder, oh, well, how come there's so many crimes against Asian people? I don't understand. It's because of the naming. It's because of the rhetoric. Because of the blame. It's indefensible. Okay. And so, yeah, not a lot of people are going to believe Meghan McCain when she says, oh, I, I stand against Asian hate. Well, maybe you shouldn't have fed into the monster. And maybe, again, you don't realize, you don't seem to understand how words and rhetoric work and how they can actually lead to violent actions. Well, maybe I wish this would be a wake-up call for her so that she could actually understand that with a, a big platform, a great platform, comes great responsibility for watching what the fuck you say. Until she can start to understand that. Well, she can just go F off. I'm not interested. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.